hallelujah now my second function is to acknowledge officially a great father in this nation many of you know that just a few days ago it was the birthday of bishop david oyedepo hallelujah and um, it's important that we do this psalm 92 from verse 12 down to 15 is a scripture that personifies everything that has become of the life of this man the righteous the bible says shall flourish like the palm tree he shall grow like a cedar in lebanon it says next verse we're reading to 15 those that be planted in the house of the lord shall flourish in the courts of our god verse 14 it says they shall still bring forth fruit in old age they shall be fat and flourishing final verse 15 to show that the lord is upright he is my rock and that there is no unrighteousness in him hallelujah i consider god's servant um Bishop Oedipo, in all honesty, to be a veteran of the gospel. He has exemplified faith. He has opened the body of Christ. And some of us are beneficiaries of that sacrifice to the possibilities that exist when men depend upon the Lord. You know, I was thinking earlier on today that as a nation, we must be grateful for the kind and the caliber of fathers that God has given us. Are we together? This is true. Um, in other parts of the world, and particularly other parts of Africa, they don't have that kind of privilege to have trailblazers as fathers. And so, you see, your exploits is not just dependent on the grace that is available, but the models who exemplify possibilities. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are able to do much for the kingdom today because there were men who went ahead of us and showed us that it could be possible even in this nation. Hallelujah. And I think that that is deserving of honor. And then we have to also acknowledge uh, furthermore because I, I will tell you this. Um, fathers of faith like Bishop Oedepo, among the fathers we have in this nation, have also helped our generation to stay humble because they have lifted a bar so high that regardless what you do it, it is foolish to brag about anything as a young man in this nation because you still fall short of the standard if it is crowd the crowds that we celebrate in conferences are the crowds they have for regular services if it is finances god has honored them beyond human comprehension if it is wisdom, they have proven it with the mighty works. If it is sons, they have raised fathers themselves. Are we together now? It is, it is a great blessing to have fathers who have modeled these kinds of possibilities. That in one lifetime, God raises a man who is able to build a 50,000 capacity sitter in nine months. Let me tell you this, from an engineering standpoint, if God did not send you, eventually the government will arrest you because you will build something within nine months that will certainly kill people. You cannot build a 60,000 capacity building ordinarily. You have to invest a lot of engineering technology to make that kind of structure stand. It is the wisdom of God. And then to build two universities in one lifetime, schools, and, and then come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bible says that they that rule well are deserving of double honor. We are able to do the things we do today and we do not fear the future because we look on to Jesus, but we look on to men who have looked on to him. And we have seen the benefit of looking on to Jesus through their lives. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so we really, really want to thank God. And as a person and as a ministry, we sincerely honor the grace of God upon his life. We honor him as a father. We honor him as a veteran of the gospel. He's 70 years, correct family, great ministry. He's deserving of our honor. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to sow a seed 
of prayer for him in one minute that is what we can give there are levels that when men get to money and anything material does not add to them again it's a total waste to give anything material there is such a realm and so when they get to that realm we pray the things that money cannot buy like good health like a great testimony like many who become extensions of their legacy as we pray for them we're also praying for those who have connected to those streams and have still modeled godliness is it okay if we pray that prayer and just sow a seed of prayer to the life of this great father of faith go ahead those who are following online those who have been blessed by his life and the life of the many who have come from him have come through him for the wisdom for the audacity of faith please sow that seed of prayer father keep him in health preserve his testimony to the end in the name of jesus christ acts chapter 26 and verse 22 says having obtained help from the lord i continue unto this day one minute we are praying as a global family we thank you oh god for the gift of this great father of faith bishop david oyedepo we thank you for the winner's family thank you because we are partakers of the grace we are partakers of the possibilities that have been invested in the life of this veteran of the gospel we acknowledge him as touching the investment of the spirit upon his life we acknowledge consistency we acknowledge resilience we acknowledge sacrifice we acknowledge the demonstration of faith father preserve his health preserve his children preserve his family preserve his testimony preserve his passion that in old age indeed he will be fat and flourishing lord grant us the humility to continue to receive that which you have placed in his life for our sake may we be worthy extensions of this grace worthy representations of this apostleship in jesus mighty and much less name we pray if christ saris at 70 men will still be celebrating you in the name of jesus christ there are people at 20 the world is already tired of them at 20 the only way to manage them is to jail them because they have become such a nuisance to society people do not wish their being alive keeps causing pain to many and so when we have people who have lived that long i remember when we had the privilege i think it was earlier this year to visit the former president of nigeria Olusegun Obasanjo, and when I was were there with him and I was looking at him, I said, my God, this man is in his 80s, about 86 or 87 thereabout. And he was speaking to us with strength, with vitality, and you could see all kinds of people coming in and going out. And I said, this man's influence will not diminish. Till. I'm not, I mean, it, it inspired me so much. I said, in the name of Jesus, my kingdom relevance will never diminish in my lifetime. And as I'm praying, I'm praying for everyone here. I don't know, you've lost your influence, you've lost your name. Your name does not even strike any bell of honor again because you have, you have, your, you have diminished even though you are just starting. I'm praying for you that in this miracle service, the Lord himself will place honor upon your name. The Lord himself will place honor upon your name. You will never be called Ichabod. The Lord, my God, will place honor upon your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. And Bishop David Oyedepo celebrated his 70th birthday anniversary a few days ago, and many great men and women of honor from all walks of life came to celebrate with him. Amongst them is the former president of Nigeria, General Olusegun Obasanjo, Pastor Adeboye, Pastor Paul Anenche, Apostle Michael Orokpo, to mention but few. 
though Apostle Joshua Selman, who has been known for his humility and love for the fathers of faith, was in South Africa for a conference. Being an advocate of honor in the body of Christ took about 10 minutes during the last Koinonia service to acknowledge and celebrate Bishop David Oyedipo. Apostle Joshua Selman also encouraged the Koinonia Global family to pray for him, because at this stage in his life, the most important gift we can give to fathers of faith like Bishop Oyedipo is prayer. Has this channel been a blessing to you? If yes, then smash that like button and share this video with someone. God bless you and your family. Amen. See you in our next video.